spiritual vibration with Sister P. So we have, as you heard by that ad, a new feature in this program. Welcome, Dr. Ben Israel. Thank you very much for having me, Sister P. And it's my pleasure um, being here today. I know that you have a lot of information for us. But first, tell us a little bit about yourself so that we have an idea. All right. Oh, yes. um, again, thank you for having me. Um, I'm Dr. Ben Israel. Mm -hmm. That's my spiritual name. Um, my birth name is Marlon Herlock. And I'm all You're related to, to the oh, Herlocks? Yes. To Paul? Yeah, man. I, I worked, worked with Paul. Uncle. Yeah. I worked with Paul at Intercontinental Hotel. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, may so rest in peace. Yes, absolutely. Rest mm, in power. Right, yes. Um, last uh, December. Mm, yes. Last, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, man. But so I'm, I'm from Montego Bay and I'm, I'm a naturopath. Um, mm -hmm. Meaning, because uh, a lot of people, when you hear about natural medicine, their natural response is that it's limited to just herbs. Yes. Um, but my experience, my training, my work extends herbology, which is one aspect of natural medicine. So, first of all, my biggest approach, my biggest uh, therapy is education because my mantra is that the greatest weapon against sickness and disease is education, not medication. So uh, my program, my approach is very education intensive. And then outside of education, of course, there is herbology, which, is, which we use to undergird everything that we do. But outside of that, we employ the use of hydrotherapy, aromatherapy, um, you know, uh, uh, acupressure treatments, and, um, and, a, and, a, and a vast number of uh, electronic devices in what we call quantum medicine. Yes. So quantum medicine is where science meets technology. Mm -hmm. And so we use a number of devices uh, to help persons to get better. One of them that most persons will talk about or most persons are fascinated about is a device that we use, um, that I use, that's based on quantum medicine that allows me in less than one minute to do over 35 different assessments. So in less than one minute, I have persons who, who test me, um, including medical doctors and different persons from different uh, you know, professional, medical professional backgrounds. In less than a minute, if you come to me, um, I can assess you and tell you what's happening in your body. Wow. So, you know, that's, that's one of, that's one of um, the devices that we use. Um, of course, we use nutrition because no uh, program is sustainable without nutrition because, as you know, your medicine should be your food and your food should be your medicine. So we, we, we employ that as well. Um, and I operate an entity called the Hallelujah Lifestyle Wellness Center. It's based here in uh, Port Antonio. Um, and it's based at the Port Antonio Inn Resort. So from that facility, we're able to Is that to offer what used to be Crest? So that people right. know. Right, so it used to be. So it's actually Ferry Hill. Ferry Hill. Yes, so people know right. where we're talking be, about. Yes, Yes. it used to be Jamaica mm -hmm. Crest. Mm -hmm. And from there, we are able to offer a number of in-house therapy. As a matter of fact, that's where we are pushing. That's what we are promoting now. Uh, we set that up in uh, February of last year. So February gone. Uh, mm -hmm. is, is one year since we've been operational at the wellness center. Okay. We also have an office in Dockens Field, and we operate a number of mobile clinics. We, we operate a, a mobile clinic in Montego Bay and uh, a mobile clinic in Kingston as well. And um, what we're doing now, one of, one of the main things that we're doing now is we're trying to get, so if there's anybody listening, one of our drive right now, as I said, education is very big. We're trying to get as many faith-based, are community-based organizations out there that are listening to partner with us in getting us to come into those organizations to do not only presentations, but demonstrations. Not just presentations, but demonstrations mm -hmm. on natural alternatives. Simple things, home remedies, simple things that persons can do to help themselves to get better naturally. So that's one of the things that we are promoting. So if there's a pastor listening, if you're part of a church, and you'd want us to come into your organization or your community-based organization or your workplace and have us do one of our presentations or demonstrations, then we would love to do so. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll give out the numbers in a little while, so I'll give persons the time to get their pen or their notepads out so we can give out the numbers, and I'll do so um, throughout the program. 
but a, a little a, a bit about hallelujah lifestyle wellness center as the name implies hallelujah hallel uh, I'm, and, and i'm of the hebraic faith so um that of course will translate into 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 our practice and our way of life um it means praise yeah and, and we believe it's not just a word it's a lifestyle it's translating how you dress it's translating how you eat it's translating in almost not almost but everything that you do and so we believe that our eating and our lifestyle should praise the most high and give honor to the most high and we found that a lot of persons are sick as a matter of fact, when I came on today, I don't know if it was possible, but hopefully next week I want to talk about coronas. Um, because this is something that is taking advantage of people who have a very weak immune system. The government have to worry, but people who are, who are taking care of themselves, people who have their immune system intact, don't have to worry. And so we are going into spring, and I want to share with persons next week. Uh, we are starting a program next week. If you know anybody who is sick or anybody who has a compromised immune system, we want to share with them what they can do in order to make themselves to an extent quote unquote immune to coronas as you know there are many persons sister p who ha have been tested positive but they are not uh, uh they're not suffering any symptoms because their immune system is strong when it, you say tested positive you mean here in jamaica no not here in jamaica oh okay yeah but outside of jamaica so we haven't really had any cases here in jamaica there uh, there are there are um maybe uh, i'm not sure about con any confirmation yet there's still speculations um, but we know of the confirmed cases outside of Jamaica and countries where there are confirmed cases. There's a vast number of persons who have the virus but are not showing the symptoms of sickness or the symptoms of, um, of, of ailment as those persons with a, with a compromised immune system. I want to ask a question here because I had received something that said mm -hmm. that the melanin mm -hmm. in, within us as African people Sister P, your, your sister P, come on, man. You, you, <laughs> you want to turn my uh, this half hour into over an hour? I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to do. Okay, well, well, we we'll leave it till yes. next week. Yeah, when you I want to talk, talk about that, melanin. Yes, melanin okay. is a whole show by okay. itself. Yes, and 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 and. and I don't even want to get started on that. Yes. But it is a fact that people who are of high melanin content yeah. and persons in tropic, uh, tropical or hot regions mm -hmm. are not so much uh, at risk. Yes. You know, all viruses, moles, and all those, uh, you know, tend to come out during the winter when the time is very cold because I love that type of climate. So that's it. I want to talk about it next week. Yes, we'll talk about yeah, it right? next week. But um, so if you, if you know anybody who has concern about coronas, then you need to let them be on the show next week. I promise you it's going to be phenomenal. Okay. They have to be on it next week. Anybody when you say be on it, you mean on Be on the, the show. You mean to, to come in? Not come in, you but mean like tune in. Okay. Online or on 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 um eight seven six four five three one four four four. Yes, that's a yes, number. That's a WhatsApp number for styles. Right. Yes. So persons can. And message. if you do have a question, you can call in on eight seven six four five three one four four four. But the WhatsApp does not take telephone calls, so you have to call in on the line. All right. So yes. I'm, I'm seeing, I see I see Monique asking a question. It's not acknowledge money that I see you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if I can, if I get the chance to talk on it. But I, I was talking about what it is that we offer at Hallelujah Lifestyle Wellness yes. Centre. So as I said, we are able to offer in-house therapies. We have persons that come in for a wide variety of uh, complaints. Uh, I might ask persons in the Dawkins field or in the Port Antonio area who have benefited from our program, maybe to call in to tell persons what their experiences are. But we have persons testifying um, about you know you know overcoming uh, issues as it relates to fire uh, not uh, enlarged prostate we do, that, we, we do a, a program on that um, we have persons who, who talk about you know just you name it because we uh, don't take credit I certainly don't take credit for helping anybody mm -hmm. um, what I do is basically give people furnish persons with the knowledge give them the raw material I guide them as it relates to the raw material and the body does the rest yes because the scripture says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and the body basically was made to heal itself if a person is not healing if a person is suffering from ailment to a large extent it's based on the body's healing mechanism being damaged 
being weak or there's some form of blockage. Now, what I do and my team, what we do is we guide persons. We furnish persons with the information and to some extent the raw material that they need to give their bodies so that their body can do the work that it was designed to do, which is to heal itself. So I, I don't want to take credit for that, but, but, but you know, we have seen so many persons come in and they're amazed they are amazed at, um, you know, as I said, there are persons, some of them might be listening in Dockens Field and some of those areas. Yeah, because St. Thomas... Um, for wide, listenership. Yes, wide listenership. Wide yeah, listenership We have Thomas. persons, and, 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 and you can also go online, because whenever possible, I do ask persons to give testimonials. Yes. Um, uh, our, our, if you type in 876 Herbs on the internet, a lot of our YouTube videos will come up. 876 Herbs. Mm -hmm. um, we have a website, uh, hallelujahlifestyle.com. It's kind of difficult for persons to type it in in terms of the spelling. Okay. So I've added 876 Herbs, which, which is, which is self-explanatory and it's easy to remember. If you type in 876 Herbs anywhere on Google, it will bring you to our website at 876herbs.com or it will bring you to one of our videos which have my telephone number and everything else. So anybody who's, who can't remember my, my number, just go on online and type in 876 herbs any video that pops up my telephone and other contact information will be there all right um so at um our wellness center uh what we are doing sister p is we're promoting uh retreats we have we have four day retreats we have 10 day retreats um because of what we do uh we don't put a limit on what we don't do or what we do. So anybody who has any form of ailment, what we are saying is we don't take credit. The body heals itself. We can show you how and what to do and just allow nature to do what it was designed to do. So we have persons who have come in with lupus. We have persons who have come with, with cancer. We have persons who have come in with, you name it, all different types of ailment, all different types of disease or discomforts. And all we did was we guided them. It was at comfortable at first. There is discomfort. But once they were able to go through that discomfort, they were amazed at watching the body do what it's supposed to do, which is heal itself. And so um, what we're doing now, uh, we, have, we also have a website, as I said, um, 876herbs.com and hallelujahlifestyle.com. And we use these two platforms to disseminate information, number one. And number two, um, we use it, part of that information is as it relates to herbal knowledge. So every Monday at 10 a.m., we have a series of videos that come out called Herbally Speaking. And what I do is I travel across the length and breadth of Jamaica to find herbs, help people to identify them in the wild, and to teach them about the medicinal uses of these herbs. You know, I used to, you know, I used to do that for... Um Retreats for naturopath doctors. Herbal herb walks. Herbal walks. Right. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. also something that we encourage. I'm trying to get uh, Jamaicans. I'm trying to get Jamaicans or persons outside of uh, Jamaica or inside of Jamaica to join us on these herb walks. A lot of persons ask me if when I'm, am I going to start a school or start a course. I'm mean, working on that. But the closest we come to starting a school right now is the herb walks. I and mean, we want to do one of those at least every month. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you something, Sister P. Uh, about 50 years ago, when Western medicine came intensively in Jamaica to penetrate Jamaica, what they had to do successfully was they had to create a prop propaganda. Yes. So they had to destroy what we had. What did we have? We had uh, what we call uh, indigenous healers. We had um, uh, healers that learned their medicines traditionally, orally and otherwise. It's our African tradition. That's our African tradition. Yes. And so what they did was that they attacked that ancient art form by questioning the, 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 the science-based knowledge of those persons. Remember, these were persons who got the information uh, uh, traditionally, but couldn't explain. So they, if you ask them, uh, I have this condition, what do I do? Well, take this. Well, can you explain to me the chemical constituents? Can you explain to me the, everything? They couldn't. So what the medical industry did was that they created doubt in our traditional healers, a system of healing that has been there for thousands of years. And the mistake that our people did was that we, we, we began to look to Western medicine and we allowed these ancient persons to die with the knowledge. And so now that Western medicine is failing, persons are gravitating back to natural medicine. But guess what? 
we allow the libraries to die without getting the information. So part of what I do, part of the legacy that I want to uh, uh, establish in Jamaica is to restore that ancient knowledge. So I, I travel across Jamaica along with my training. I try to find the herbs. When I did my training, it was based on an American system. Yes. So part of what I did was to cross-reference the herbs from abroad with the ones that are in Jamaica to find the substitutes, one. And number two, to find some of those herbs that are still here but have different names. That information is what I put forth in Herbalist Speaking every week on Monday. So I tell persons to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then we make compounds. So for those persons who yeah, I want the knowledge but don't have the time to spend to learn these herbs and to formulate them and to combine them, we also have uh, compounds that we make. So uh, we used to make teas, and right now I'm moving away from teas to so tinctures, which is a more concentrated form of the plant um, that has a, a, a more consistency in terms of the results. So at our website, you, persons can go there and find uh, hallelujahlifestyle.com. They can go there and they can find herbal compounds. On our other website, which is 876herbs.com, is where we want to make available bulk, and retail herbs. So um, I've also found that some of the most powerful herbs in the world are from Jamaica. And let me be Can biased. You give me the name of which one of the herbs from Jamaica is really very powerful. Woman Piaba. Woman Piaba. Woman Piaba is a herb. As a matter of fact, um, woman, woman Piaba is used for women who have a number of uh, menopausal issues. So if mm -hmm. you have menopausal issues, that, that, that herb was made popular by Harry Belafonte um, in one of his songs, um, Man Piaba, Woman Piaba. Yes. And um, it, is, it, 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 it is predominantly found in St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I've traveled all across Jamaica, and the greatest concentration and the, 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 those with the greatest efficacy has been found in St. Thomas. Okay. So, you know, I, I'm also saying that St. Thomas should be one of the most, should be one of the wealthiest parish. St. Thomas and Portland should have a factory exporting herbs. And I was talking about marijuana because no, marijuana has. I put, used to export herbs. You used to export herbs. I exported herbs to a company in New York mm -hmm. called Sundial Herbs. I know Sundial Herbs. I was the one who used to export to them. I started. When they started, I was the original person that, and I used to walk. And they have lost some things. They have lost some. Well, they have lost everything. Yeah. Yes. I know um, Mount, mountain mountain rose herbs, mm -hmm. you know, which is which is which which started out near about the same time as blossom, but I think that you know, with the College of Agriculture, Science and Education being in this neck of the highland, they should have. We should have Portland Saint Thomas should have one of the most robust. Um, uh, herb export um, um, industry in Jamaica. I don't understand about marijuana because we have magnified marijuana to the point that some of the powerful herbs are in the shadows. Yes. And so, um, if a person can't get a license to do marijuana, there are there are dozens of other herbs that are equally not maybe not equally potent, but um, are maybe equally potent, but in 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 in, in certain respect. Mm -hmm. You know, marijuana has a very broad spectrum use. But there are a number of other herbs that are that are that are similarly potent in in their own respect. Can I ask a question? Is golden seal in Jamaica? No. Okay. Golden it's not. seal is not found okay. in Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. You know. So 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 those two websites. I mean, encourage persons to go there and subscribe. We put out articles as well. Um, and right now we have an, an, at the wellness center we have uh, uh, yoga that we offer. So anybody that, that wants to do yoga, and we'll, we'll get our yoga specialists to come in and talk. Um, we have a chiropractor that we want to bring in um, as well. Uh, we have a, 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 a nutritionist there as well. So we want, to, we want uh, Portland to be that area where a person, when they think about natural uh, medicine and natural healing or recovering naturally, that's where we want them to come. Can, okay. I have a problem. Mm -hmm. Sciatica. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it seems to me from talking to people that the thing for, for that would be acupressure or acupuncture. Yeah, definitely. Acupressure. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Um, chiro chiropractic medicine, um, chiropractic therapy can help because, you know, sciatica is that nerve that runs in, in, right in the back of the leg and, and most of it's damaged. Um, from a lot of men, a lot of persons who sit 
with objects in their back pockets um, will damage their sciatica nerve. And so um, massage therapy, um, uh, which is an um, acupuncture or acupressure or um, chiropra chiropractic yeah, because, therapy um, are those therapies that would help that because, condition. Um, Massage doesn't really help it, but one Soothes of the th it. yes, one of the things is I have noticed because I've lived on hills, like I've lived in the mountains, I've lived on hills, mm -hmm. and I remember the elders used to say to me, "Be careful how you're coming down the hill." Yes, and I know that that is what is that is what gives me or has given me that sciatica problem. Because yes. you're coming down the hill and you want to walk fast enough that you're sweating, you know, and then you don't realize that you're damaging your body. Okay, right. So, of course, there are, because as you get older too, uh, you know, your, 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 your spine tends to curve. Yes. And there are misalignments. Um, so, if, 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 if yours was caused predominantly by walking down a hill, mm -hmm. you would help. I would recommend first doing some chiropractic adjustments okay. because your nerve would not be damaged that bad uh, 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 against somebody who, had, uh, who was sitting on a wallet or sitting yeah. on an object in their back leg. For, not. That would have damaged the nerve yes. itself. Mm -hmm. That would have damaged the nerve itself. Um, I see where someone said, what is good for allergies that drain behind the throat that makes you cough a lot? Well, what I said to persons first is, an allergy is not something that you want to manage. An allergy is something that you want to get away. An allergy basically is, uh, in the body there are uh, chemicals uh, that are triggered when an allergen, an allergen can be pollen, dust, and so on. And sometimes... Um, those, 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 those allergies, you want to get to the root of it. Um, and so a lot of persons are accustomed to taking medication. What I recommend is doing a liver flush first to get rid of whatever uh, physical debris might be in the liver. The next thing you want to do is ensure that you're not, expo you're not consuming any type of dairy product. And um, uh, another thing that is also very good is what we call a, a, a nasal irrigation using colonic silk, uh, um, ion, um, uh, colloidal silver. So first of all, you want to do a liver flush to, to clear the, the, the liver. Um, the, the next thing you want to do is to ensure that you're not consuming any form of dairy to encourage your body to produce excessive mucus. And the third thing you want to do uh, is to do what we call a nasal irrigation using colloidal silver. You can also use saline or salt water as well. Okay. So that's that. what Karen. Um, and then we have another person who didn't identify themselves. I need to know if you can do anything about GLADS. And I don't know what is GLADS. That person I don't know what is a bit more, more clear. But our numbers are 831. 9697, that's our number, that's our office in here in Port Antonio. That's 831-9697. That's our, our WhatsApp hotline. And then for St. Thomas, it's 789-7843. So Port Antonio is 831-9697. And for St. Thomas is 789-7843. And those are the numbers that you would also call to make an appointment um, if you want to come in for a consultation. Um, so, uh, you know, again, if, if there's anyone listening that would want us to come into any one of their faith-based organization, your church or your community-based organization, for us to do a presentation slash demonstration, not just to present, but to show you uh, a number of natural uh, uh, things that you can do to help with conditions that persons may have. And so, you know, we, we want to travel around Jamaica, and uh, of course, you know, we, we, we want to do that. Um, you know, so persons who want to, to reach out to us can uh, get us through those numbers. Oh, by the way, you, uh, you have visited Sisumba Vegetarian Restaurant. Yes, man. When I came to Port Antonio, <laughs> it was hard to find somewhere that I could find to eat. So I was on the search and I was going uh, back into Buff Bay. And I, I always seen that number, Sisumba, the name, Sisumba, Sisumba. And I said, that sounds... Uh, like a natural cuisine and so I stopped two times and there was nothing there and I stopped because you came too early right yeah I came yes, too yes. early uh, we and I heard 12. that I would have to mm -hmm. call and I came um, the third time and I had the meal and it was 
I nearly, I nearly, I nearly, I know your chef told you, but I nearly hired him on the spot to come and cook for us. But in uh, faithfulness, it's just happy. No, I know. You know that? You know why I know? Mm. There's a couple of reasons why. He don't want to leave his community, Hope Bay. Ah. He doesn't want to leave his community yes. because his grandmother is there. And also, he likes working in the kitchen by himself. Oh, okay. So even myself... I have to be careful how I go into the kitchen mm -hmm. because it's his kitchen. It's okay. not my kitchen. Just taking it over now. It, no, but that's, you know, something. That's how a young person should be. Yeah, man. That's how they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Territorial. Yeah. Yeah, man. So somebody's asking, Karen is asking. So the number, Karen, is 831-9697 uh, or 8. Uh, seven eight nine seven eight nine seven eight four three. That's the Saint Thomas number, and uh, you can call any one of those numbers wherever you are, and uh, you can get us. If you're online, if you if you forget the number, you just go just go on Google and type in eight seven six herbs, and that will bring it to one of our YouTube videos. My email address or website address, everything is on that. And then I would encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of videos. Uh, as I said, um. Because we, 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 we soon to close. Um, so next week I'm going to talk about coronas, the coronavirus, and what you can do naturally to 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 to, to offset that, exposing yourself to it. And um, we are going into spring. We are going into spring, and um, the fact that we're going into spring, um, I want to introduce you to what is called spring cleaning. Spring cleaning which is a, a, a set of routine activities that you need. I don't care how sick you are. I don't care how sick you are. I don't care what the doctor say you have. If you can join me on that spring cleaning, I don't care what you have because the body doesn't know any disease by name. So inside the body, no labels exist. Cancer doesn't exist. HIV doesn't exist. AIDS doesn't exist. These are just labels that exist outside of the body. Does the body doesn't know any disease by name or classification. So these are just labels that man have fabricated. Right? So I'm saying that we are going into spring, and I go through a routine. It's, it's one week uh, sugar-free, one week raw, and then I bring you through a number of cleanses that I don't care what you have. It's going to improve your health. And um, I'm gonna be, I, I, I want to, I'm gonna be doing that live on Facebook, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it here on the show when I come, and I'm gonna prepare persons. If you have constipation, if you have diabetes, if you have arthritis, I don't care what you have. You need to listen. You need to be on between 11:30 and 12 p.m. on a Thursday. Take your lunch time, shift your lunch time, shift your breakfast, take your bathroom break. Whatever you need to do, download the app, get the styles up for 11.30. You need to lock in on a Thursday from 11.30 to 12. And I'm going to share with you some stuff that is going to rock your world. When I finish with some of you guys, you'll be the doctor of your community. Uh, before, before we um, totally run out of time, um, mm. Karen is asking where can she get the nasal spray. All right, the nasal spray. We have the nasal spray, Karen. We have the nasal spray. Um, as a matter of fact, it's not a spray. It's a procedure. So if you come in, as I said, what we do is teach people. So I'll do it for you one time, and I can show you how to do it for yourself thereafter. Okay, and she's all the way in Monique. So um, okay. if you're ever that side of the island, I guess Buff Bay would be closest to her. I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. All right, we're totally out of time. Well, it was really good. You know, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep an open mind. That's right. And it's good to see that the work that you are doing because it is very very necessary definitely um you know we tend to want to go to doctors for everything and then they give you all of these pills and you get sicker mm -hmm. because that's what those pills do they make you sicker yeah. so it's good to hear because when we when i first started this program we used to do a lot of health mm -hmm. you know um things and you said something i just want to let you know that we also do raw at i saw that at the restaurant. I saw that. Yes, we do raw. Yeah. Um, I mean, like a whole raw dish. I saw it, man. Because yes. that, but one, I, I asked him about um, alkaline diet, mm -hmm. uh, raw foods. Mm -hmm. He said he, he does it to some extent, but when he told me it was just one, mm -hmm. then I said to him that, you know, it would be good because we wanted to open a raw mm -hmm. restaurant 
at, at the property there at uh, where yes, we are at. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have um, a different, but you know, it's because it's you have to actually eat the market all in before mm -hmm. and ask. Because I had my friend, Dr. Iris Latam, mm -hmm. who had opened up, I don't know if you know. Mm -hmm. Iris. I mean, I spoke to yeah. he was supposed to be with us when was it last year, October? Mm hmm. But I've done a lot of work with Aris, mm -hmm. and he had opened up in Portland. Up in, up in the... Um, um, in Anchovy Pass. Up on the hill, yeah. No, but he started on the hill, mm -hmm. and then he came down to, what do you call that there? Clear Spring. Clear Spring, yeah, man, yes, right up on yes, the Yes, view. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but it didn't really work out for him, because mm, Portland doesn't... Me. Yes, it doesn't mm -hmm. really have that. But We want to change that. We want to change, because at, at, at our property... Um, we want to do a number of conferences, you know, I, I, we, have, we have a lot of space. Um, some of those persons are listening, you know, we've taken over, um, Chris is now Port Antonio in, yes. and um, basically that's what we want to do. We want to bring natural medicine mm -hmm. and, the, and, and, and the key persons in the industry globally here in Portland. So we want to create an industry yes. here in Portland. So I, I, I see us doing lots <laughs> of work together, and I, and I look forward to tapping into your endless resources, not just locally, but internationally as well, to bring the best of the best here in Jamaica, because oh, yes. we want to lift up this little island. Yes, and we have to, especially this parish. Especially this parish. All right, yeah. thank you. We're totally out of time, so Cassidy is going to run his ads, and we look forward to seeing you next week. All right. Next week, Thursday. So until next time, remember, your health is your responsibility. And the greatest weapon against sickness and disease is education, not medication. Bye-bye.